Recently, my subscription to Nabukasa expired due to a glitch in the payment gateway of my credit card company. I tried fixing it, but it did not go through. And due to this, suddenly Alexa stopped controlling all my smart home devices. Alexa, turn on office light. Office light isn't responding. Please check its network connection and power supply. It was really frustrating as until now everyone in the family had got used to the voice commands to control their devices. Nabukasa was the only cloud-based service to my home assistant setup. Apart from it, the whole house is locally controllable via the mobile app. So I decided to end the Nabukasa cloud services and started looking to integrate Alexa locally. In my search to localize Alexa, I came across the emulated Hue integration in Home Assistant which I used to had earlier but somehow it broke a long time ago with then future updates of Home Assistant. The emulated Hue integration provides a virtual Philips Hue bridge written entirely in software that allows services that work with Hue API to interact with Home Assistant entities. I gave it a try again, but it was not at all easy to set up initially. Many of you must have tried it too, but for any reason you may not have been able to make it work or you might be among the few lucky people who made it through at their first attempt, but I was not among them. So I just thought of sharing my experience and how I have fixed the issues to finally set up the emulated Hue integration to control my devices locally via Alexa for absolutely free. So let's get started. The very first step to start setting up the local integration is to open your Alexa app, then go to the smart home section and delete all your pre-discovered smart switches from there. The easiest way to delete all the devices in one go is to go to alexa.amazon.com or .in or .uk, change it to whatever is applicable to your country. After login, go to Smart Home section and select Devices. Here you will see all your pre-discovered devices. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click Remove All. Once all the devices are gone, open configuration.yaml file from your Home Assistant folder. In configuration.yaml, the first step is to comment or remove the cloud component. Next, add emulated Hue component by adding these lines. In the host IP line, type the IP address of your own Home Assistant server. If your Home Assistant server IP is not static, you must assign a static IP by logging into your router settings as this is necessary for the emulated Hue integration to work properly. Next, if you have a very few smart devices in your house and you want to expose them all to Alexa, then set the expose by default option to true. This will expose all the available domains and entities to Alexa. In this case, you may remove all the next lines as they are not required now. But if you have a large number of devices in your house, you must set this option to false to avoid overloading Alexa as that may create trouble later on. In this case, we will manually add the domains or entities that we wish to be controlled by Alexa. You can mention which domain group you want to expose under exposed domains. For example, if you expose light domain, then all the light entities in your home assistant will get exposed automatically. If you don't even want to expose all the lights at once, then the entities option is the best for you. 
here you will have a full control on each and every individual entity initially just add only one or two entities to test if they work fine i am very choosy about what to expose and what not so i am using the exposed entities option only there is a full article on emulated hue integration on home assistant website you should check that too one more important thing that you should take care of is the indentation of the yaml format so make sure you type it correctly once it's all done save the configuration.yaml file validate it and then restart home assistant upon restart open your web browser and in the address bar type this url and press enter you should now see the devices that the emulated hue is exposing I have exposed a lot of devices that's why it's showing a long list but in your case it will only show the devices that you have mentioned in emulated hue settings if it does not show any devices here make sure you enter the correct web address or check again the emulated hue integration in your configuration file for any errors if the page is displaying your selected devices Congratulations you have configured it right Now again go to the Alexa app to discover these newly created devices If Alexa is able to discover the devices check to see if they work with voice command or not If you are able to control the devices with your voice you have made it Go to the configuration.yaml file again to add the remaining devices but if alexa is unable to discover the devices or is unable to control the discovered devices you need to follow some troubleshooting steps to correct this issue if alexa is unable to discover the exposed entities or is discovering more than the exposed entities or is unable to control the discovered devices In all these scenarios you need to factory reset your Alexa device because as told by the Amazon customer support the previously discovered devices information may have been stored on the Alexa cloud and you need to clear that by a hardware factory reset of that Echo device If you have an Echo dot you can perform the factory reset by pressing and holding the microphone off button and the volume down button simultaneously for about 10 seconds until the light ring goes off and you see an orange rotating ring on your echo dot you have now entered the setup mode go to the alexa app to add this dot as a new device by following the instructions in the alexa app once your echo device is added to the app again Go to the smart home section to discover the devices again. Hopefully this time you will be able to discover and control the devices through Alexa. If you still fail to do so and you have more than one Echo device in your house, you need to repeat the same factory reset process again for each Echo device and then recheck. Once all the devices are discovered in Alexa app, you can then add them to different groups. create routines and can do a lot of exciting stuff and that too without paying a single penny to anyone and without using a cloud subscription if you still fail to set up emulated hue integration or have any query do comment below and i will definitely respond with a solution hope you find this video useful if so do like and share the video with family and friends If you are new to this channel please consider subscribing it for lot of more exciting stuff on DIY home automation and to get notified about all upcoming exclusive and practical ideas for making your home smarter day by day So stay creative stay connected and we will meet in another exciting video soon until then goodbye